Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another video. This is a Minecraft snapshot video, um, but also uh, this is basically a tutorial on how to create data packs and use the new crafting, uh, custom crafting system. And it's pretty simple, I'm gonna teach you how to do it, uh, but first uh, let's see um, something that I wanted to see in a long time. And basically is how to get back uh, some recipes like the notch apple so if you're not familiar with the uh, notch apple uh, before you used to craft it like this uh, an apple and um, gold blocks and now it is not possible they remove it from the game so we need to get it back another thing that is very annoying to me is that when you craft nether ward blocks, you cannot get back the nether wards, or you cannot store the nether uh, uh, wards into blocks. As happened with slime and other other type of items. So what we're going to do is introduce uh, custom crafting recipes into the game, and we're gonna load them right now. So uh, the command I need to do. This data pack is a new one. Data pack enable and then my uh, pack. So I created this pack. I'm gonna show you the files in a, in a bit. Uh, but this is what I'm enabling right now. And now let's get back to uh, this uh, crafting recipe. And now uh, showing craftable shows already what, what I can do. And now I can see here that I can, uh, you guys can see that you can craft this uh, notch apple and there you go now it's possible and also from here which is oh you can craft one apparently okay that's good <laughs> one by one I guess that's a bug because these items are stackable okay that's about to report I guess but yeah now also with nether wart we place it there. So um, in order to have it here as craftable items, you need to do it once at least. And there you go. Now we have nether wart as a craftable item. So yeah, this is this is very very good. Now you you guys can store your nether wart into blocks and get them back. Maybe we can do this. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> And obviously, we should be able to do all uh, this again. Yeah. So all of them into nether war blocks. Perfect. Works like a charm. Oh, where, where is it? Here. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys. So in order to do this, um, I'm going to show you uh, all the files and all of that right now. All right. So here we have all the files that uh, you can find in any Minecraft server and the thing with this is uh, you have your map folder and now you have a data packs folder you get into that one and you uh, can have zip files uh, with the new data packs or you can have also folders but the, the trick here is that these folders need to have a metadata file. So in this case is this pack MC meta file. And I'm going to show you what this one contains. This is, this is what uh, this file has. So we have a pack pack format uh, right now is three and you add your description that is going to obviously describe your pack what what is in it so um, this is the same thing that resource packs have so uh, people that have worked with resource packs are probably familiar with this so before you can pack you need to add all of the information and you can share it so I'm gonna share some of uh, the recipes I have here in the same format and this one is the first one that I'm going to do Okay, so inside this um, uh, folder, we have data, 
and then we have the custom namespace that uh, this is on whatever you want in my case I, I just added mad custom and inside you can have uh, functions recipes you can have advancements you can have structures and all of that so right now um, I was testing with functions to see if they will uh, come out come up into the new Minecraft 113 snapshot and it was working so I'm still testing that you're gonna see uh, in the next video uh, probably what I've been working um, so here we have recipes and inside recipes you just need a JSON file with whatever recipe you created now the format for recipes are pretty simple so let's go to this what spec <laughs> Uh, Jason, this is the one for nether wart blocks into nether warts. So the format is simple. Uh, there's two types. The type uh, of shapeless, which means you it doesn't matter in what shape you put the items into the crafting bench. Uh, and the other one, uh, like the notch apple, is uh, shaped. And in this case, you need a pattern and then specify what uh, items go into that pattern okay so um, for this uh, simple one shapeless you need the ingredients here uh, an array of ingredients array always are uh, indicated by by this type of bracket and inside the curly brackets we, we add the items separated by commas if there are many like this one there's many and yeah you close the uh, bracket to finish the list of items and then uh, you have results inside results you add uh, whatever result in the count uh, of uh, the number of items that you're gonna have so right now uh, I tried different things adding uh, metadata I mean NBT data and for, for for example a potion and all of that right now uh, NBT uh, which is supposed to be this way right now and uh, with new changes uh, is not working and also tag which is the thing that used to work before uh, it's not working either uh, so that is going to be a problem right now um, I, I hope they fix this soon and so we can craft really crazy things and actually make use of this crafting uh, custom crafting system uh, all right guys so that is basically it this is very simple uh, you just need to install the pack I'm gonna give you um, because I've been testing this I only gonna give you in the pack in the zip file uh, my pack with the nether wart and the notch apple and uh, you're gonna have to put it inside the data packs folder. I'm gonna create a zip file. You don't need to unpack that zip file. It's gonna be mad pack or whatever I, I uh, come up in that moment. <laughs> I'm gonna rename probably some things. And yeah, that's it. You put in your data packs and that's it. Uh, at reload, you, not, you have to write uh, reload inside your game and then you have it. And as I mentioned, you write slash reload and you will have your changes available. If you have logs, uh, access to the logs on your server, you're gonna have to check that to see if everything has been installed properly. And there you have it. Okay, so a couple more things. We have the uh, data packs, data pack uh, command and in with this one we have three additional commands one of them is list if you hit that you're gonna see uh, what packs are available and not uh, available or enabled so if we uh, hit enable and then the name of uh, your pack or in this case my pack <laughs> uh, then you're gonna see that it's available we can hit list again and it says there are two data packs enabled uh, Dinnerbone said that 
now you can disable the vanilla pack meaning you won't be able to craft anything vanilla if you disable that pack in that case you can add your own set of crafting recipes and that is perfect for map makers so yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun um, what else we have uh, disable so I'm gonna provide you with one a data pack so if you want to enable or disable it you can go here disable and then the name of the pack and there you go it won't work again so we check here and we try to craft a notch apple you're gonna see that it's not working anymore okay so that is all for now guys uh, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to check the description for the download uh, for this data pack download and I'll see you in the next video. Bye